Hi everyone and welcome. In this review note, we are going to go through the process in our lab to save out our configuration and clean up for the next student who's going to be using the equipment. At this point, I've connected in using an admin authentication into the firewall. I'm going to go into device, setup, and operations. First thing I'm going to do is save out my configuration so that I can load that the next time I'm going to be using the lab. Say save name configuration to snapshot. I'll put a name in. Put the XML extension on the end, click OK. If that comes up with a error, just click OK again and we're good and now what i'm going to do is download that configuration so we'll say export name configuration snapshot i'm going to select the one that i just created and say okay for that and that now downloaded and we're all good last thing i'm going to do is load the base configuration so that for the next student coming in it's already at base and they don't have to worry about that. Click on load name configuration snapshot, select base config from the drop down. Say OK and close that. And I'm going to quickly pop back over to the dashboard and look at the log just to confirm that that was successfully done. And we can see at the very top that the base config was loaded by admin. I can now commit that. And once that's done, we will see that the firewall is back to the state that it started in. Okay, that is done. And if I close this, we can see things like the host name is back where it belongs. I click in network and look at the interfaces. Once they pop up, we can see that all of that configuration is now gone. So that's excellent. Now we have one more step left and that is to delete the saved configuration that we created off of the firewall. Remember that's very important as a student, it is your responsibility to maintain your work and not let other people copy it. So we can't leave that laying around. We'll just connect back in via the console you can do this with Secure Shell as well if you wish. Either way, we do have to use a command because you cannot delete a configuration through the web interface. I'm going to select my firewall, log in with an admin session. And the command we're going to use is delete, config, save. Not sure the file name, just press tab. You'll be able to see the list. I'm going to pick mine, execute, and that's it. So that file is now deleted, and we don't have to worry about somebody else using our work. It's a wrap for the video. Hopefully, this has been helpful for you, and we'll see you next time.